Hey guys, it's me, Green Beauty ASMR. Today is a kind of um, different type of video. It's uh, just an update and then I'm going to show you um, my bedside and just sort of go through the things because I'm reorganizing like my bedside table to prepare for when um, the baby comes the baby is going to sleep in the room for I don't know how long but in the beginning in a bassinet next to the bed so I need to clear space to create a space where I can have diapers and burping cloths and stuff like that so that's what we're gonna do today um, but I wanted to give you an update I am today, let's see, so I'm seven months today, and um, I'm sick again. Oh my gosh, I got sick. I'm telling you, in the, having an impaired immune system is so real when you're pregnant. Um, I, like, you guys know I was sick before, and then... I got better. I mean, it took me forever to, for my voice to go back to normal and the congestion went away and it was actually, I thought was this cause I'm pregnant cause congestion is a pregnancy symptom, but I actually got better. And then of course I go visit my friend and her two kids are sick and I didn't know that until I got there and I thought I did good with washing my hands. I stayed away, but nope, got it anyway. So, and it's like so hard to get over because I, I don't take any medicine for it. So I'm just doing like natural things anyway. So that's why I haven't done any role plays because I really, um, it's important to me that my role plays have my voice that so many of you love and I'm very stuffed up and you can hear that so that's why I'm just doing more of an informal video now because um I do take the role plays a lot more seriously and um anyway so I'm 28 weeks and that means that I am starting the third trimester um I'm either 28 or 29. They still have not. I'm either due April 18th or April 11th. I don't care that much. I mean, like, I'm not held totally to a due date. Um, maybe I will be the further I get along. Um, so, time has flown by and we are um, going to be touring the hospital soon. There's two different hospitals that I'm deciding between. Both of them are pretty much equal distance and they're both the same company that I have my insurance through. Anyway, so, and we started taking hypnobirthing classes. That's this whole other thing that I don't know if, I mean, I probably wouldn't make a video on it. It's not that interesting. A lot of you are not parents, um, so you would probably not find it interesting. But I have mixed reviews so far. Anyway, okay. So what else did I want to tell you? Um, I have received a couple of items off of my little registry list from some of you. Thank you so much. And I'm filming the, un the um, me opening them as I get them. So that video won't be out for a while. But please know I am receiving them. And I'm filming just quick little um, clips of me opening them. And then I'll edit them all together to show you. So let's take a look at my bedside table first. Okay, it's a mess and mostly you can see there are books. So why don't we first clear this away, my water. And you know what, let's go through this um, smaller stuff here and move that out of the way. Now, I have plenty of time, well, we never know, but um, 
I have time before the baby comes. So doing this is nothing urgent. I am done working. And so um, I have all this time. And so I'm like nesting, you guys. I totally am purging and nesting. I really am. It's crazy. Okay, so I just have this skin calming natural oatmeal enriched lotion that I use sometimes. And then you guys have seen this the deep sleep pillow spray love this um i really like this a lot actually it's not cheap so i don't i use it every night but sometimes i don't and i use it sparingly and it's just a pillow spray then i have this my lip balm the creme de rose this is by dior And it looks just like that. I love this stuff. It's really good. Smells amazing. This is my second or third purchase of this. And for me, it lasts a long time. Let's put a little bit of that on. Okay. Then we have this. Okay, this is the a Doterra oil so those of you in the u.s know i don't actually maybe this is international i don't know this is the ginger i got this um like on the recommendation from a friend when i was first pregnant dealing with sickness yeah it totally didn't work for me but you know what can you do it's an essential oil but there are people that swear by this company and not just the people who are trying to sell it Okay, then I have this unmarked lavender oil. You have seen this in, um, I think the hair cutting video maybe. This I got in Croatia. It smells so good. It, it smells, um, you know, some like all lavender oils are not the same, but this particular one, I love it. So I have it here to smell at night or to put on my wrists or anything like that. Then, let's see, we have some, then we have some throat lozenges that I keep here for the evening time. The nighttime is the worst, of course, with my symptoms. Oh, then we have my little ring. This isn't little, and actually this is amazing. She, my friend made this, and she has just started a jewelry business, and I'm telling you, she makes really beautiful stuff. This is super simple. I chose the stone and the design. I wanted it like this, but some of the stuff she makes is so gorgeous. She has an Etsy shop, and I had thought about telling you guys about her, um, just if you ever were interested um but you know her stuff is like high quality so it's it is a little pricey like i can't say that i would buy a whole bunch of pieces you know it's um but it's so beautiful and like what good the things are sourced really well i don't know if i'll i'll see if i'll tell you one day about that um okay then we have this other lotion here can see I used it very similar to the Nivea cream I mean like it almost exactly the same then we have the mother love pregnant belly salve I was doing so good putting this on all the time and then I just like fell off of it and I don't have any stretch marks yet but my skin is very very pale so um I don't know, maybe I just can't see. I mean, my stomach is so big, I can barely see anything. But, um, I like this. I like the way it smells. I like the texture. It's a wonderful sort of ritual to do in the evening. Just paying attention to my belly and to the baby. Then, okay, so these books are going to fall. 
Okay, then I have two sprays here. The Magical Sleepy Time. The Magical Sleepy Time Dream Spray. This is just lavender. My mom got me this. Um, it's out of New Mexico. And I use it sometimes. It's really nice. Let's spray it. Very nice. Then I have the um, Rituals Organic White Lotus Calming Bed and Body Mist. I use this um, mostly for, like when I clean the room and everything, I spray this. Like when I do the bed, I sort of just spritz this everywhere. It's very strong and it lasts a very long time. So I don't use this on body, but I do use it in the bed. Okay, we have this little mirror that I got um, from Guinness. Black goes with everything, a little compact mirror. This should be in my purse. Somehow it made its way here. Then, um, let's see the remote, Apple TV. Okay, so the books that I have here, I, I won't try, I try not to spend a lot of time on each of them. This is the Baby Wise book. Um, this was given to me by my sister-in-law, and it's a, a sleep training book. Um, and so I'm reading it. I'm learning a lot. I can't say that I have subscribed or, um, yeah, subscribed to a particular method of parenting. And let me tell you, Oh my gosh, the opinions out there and people want to tell you everything they think is right. It is crazy. And you know what? I think, um, gentle whispering Maria just mentioned that something like that on her vlog channel. And it is so true that because you are pregnant, all of a sudden, people, women, what your age and older, even men feel this entitlement to share their opinion on how and what you should do for your baby. It's very interesting. I never was exposed to this, you know, cause I was never a mother before. I mean, like I would hear some of it from my friends who have babies or like my sister-in-laws who all have kids and, you know, they talk about the judgment from other mothers and things like that. And I always empathized and thought, Oh my gosh, I'm not going to be one of those women. And now I'm starting to see. So this is, is a sleep training book and I'm just reading it to learn. I will see what works best for me and my baby and my family. Um, I'm remaining open to different sort of camps of thought or theories of how to raise your child. This has been, um, this book has very tangible scheduling ideas, which is helpful just in that if I feel overwhelmed, like when the baby's here and things aren't going well and I feel overwhelmed and disorganized, this may be a good tool to reflect on these scheduling suggestions um, and see how they integrate for me. We'll see. Okay, then I have Kleenex. This very boring. This is from the dollar store. Um, then I have this book here, Ina May's Guide to Childbirth. Um, now this is like the complete opposite to that baby wise book in terms of how they perceive child care and labor and delivery should be. This is really nice. Um, it tells you about it's nice because it reminds you that birth is a natural process and it is true that we have come away from that remembering that you know that your body knows how etc so it's very empowering from a female perspective she shares a lot of stories about women who um did natural childbirth i 
am not necessarily going to do all natural so um, it's but it's been wonderful to learn about the possibilities and it has been empowering um, especially with regard to um, you know just remembering my power as a woman and the beauty that comes with being a woman and being a mother so that's that this was also given to me um, though I had heard of it before then I got this book I haven't even read this yet and to be honest I don't know if I will because I am at a point so so it's been seven months you know that I'm pregnant and I'm at a point where I just feel I have reached my maximum on taking in information about pregnancy about labor about child rearing there's so much stuff out there that I'm at a point where I'm like you know what I think I'm done let me just see how it goes from here and you know I've done my best to expose myself to what's out there and we'll see how it goes but I don't so I don't know about this one this was recommended to me um I don't know if maybe some of you have read this not sure it's interesting because like I'm birthing in a hospital but yet I'm so pulled to many elements and tenets of home birth. So I kind of don't know where I stand. And that's been an interesting process as well. So moving on, we have my watch that I never ever wear. I was wearing it to help track um, working out and my heart rate especially when I was um pregnant and like the doctors were all about when I would work out wanting me to monitor my heart rate whatever okay then we have non-pregnancy related books I have read to you this book before pieces of this book whatever arises love that by Matt Kahn very good book it is um, it's really interesting it it touches on a variety of things but um, it is sort of spiritually based but knowing but mostly coming from a place of love like not necessarily a higher power so it says, love is the impulse to embrace the innocence of life that brings spiritual harmony to the forefront of your experiences. Whenever love is poured into your heart or sent out as blessings to others, the light within all things awakens. If you're interested, I have excerpts from this on my channel maybe a couple years ago. Go ahead and look for that. Then I have this book is really, really good. This is Overcoming Unwanted Intrusive Thoughts. So this is a CBT based guide to getting over um, frightening or obsessive or disturbing thoughts. Um, I was reading this for several reasons back when and it just is really really good it talks about the worried voice false comfort and wise mind so if any of you do have um, if you experience any intrusive thoughts or anything like that I seriously recommend this just to see um, how it, you know maybe it will work for you it, it was really helpful so I don't want to get into it too much, but otherwise this video would be so long. But if there is interest, I can totally talk about this. Um, really good book. Let's see, then I have a gratitude journal that I, it was supposed to be for 365 days. Yeah, well, 
That didn't work out. Let's see on what day did I get to. Day 44. Okay. Let's read my last. Oh my gosh, this is so old. So my last entry was from 25th, no, yeah, 2015. It says, I am grateful that I completed my MFT hours. So those are my hours towards becoming a licensed psychotherapist. I can't believe I didn't put that in earlier entries as I finished earlier in July. What else? Um, let's see. Um, in June of 2015, I was grateful that we got home safely from our camping trip and that the cats were okay. <laughs> I have a tendency to worry about my little babies when we go for long periods of time. Another one was I'm grateful to experience the laughs that some of my clients bring me. Another was, I'm thankful that I pushed myself to get to the gym, even though I didn't want to. Another one. Okay, so I must have just watched American Sniper because I said, I'm grateful for the men and women who have sacrificed their lives for our country. Okay. What else? Oh, here's one. Today was a really tough day. It was difficult for me to find something to be grateful for. I guess it would be that I'm thankful that I have immediate access to health care services. Hmm. I wonder what was going on that day. I don't know. I'm grateful for my ability to love animals so much. Sometimes I love my cat so much. <laughs> it's funny. Let's see. Another one. I'm grateful that I listened to a podcast on self-compassion. It reminded me to be gentle with myself. These are all from 2015. Another one. I'm grateful for the flowing river that soothes my skin in the heat. That must have been when we were camping. And then in this journal, they give you little prompts. And I'm just covering that because it has names. So this one is, what do you appreciate most about your friendships? And I said, they're real, deep, meaningful, loyal, strong, able to laugh together, enjoy the same things, outdoors, music, spirituality, and support. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Another one was, I'm grateful for the time I got to spend with my little brother. Hmm. Yeah, so this, at least I did 45 something days. This is actually really cool. It's, I think it's pretty cheap. I got it um, on Amazon. Maybe I should start it up again. But I do believe that when we cultivate gratitude, like genuinely, the abundance in our life grows. And maybe that is just because we can see it more clearly. We get less bogged down by, you know, life. But, yeah. Okay, next we have this book that... I read on and off. This was in my library role play. I highly recommend this book, Post Traumatic Slave Syndrome. Um, fabulous book, especially for those of us working in the mental health field. But really, any of you could benefit from this book. Any of you living in the U.S., um, America's Legacy of Enduring Injury and Healing. So, um, Dr. Joy DeGruy, she's, she gives talks all the time and she, um, she's just amazing. And this book is really, really good. 
I think that all of us should read this book, especially those of us in places of privilege. Okay. Next we have Loving Bravely. Um, I can't remember. I think I showed you guys. No, I didn't show you this. So this is 20 lessons of self-discovery to help you get the love you want. Maybe I did. I don't know. So these are like little prompts. I have showed you this, I think, that you can do with your partner. And so it has these different chapters, like you're supposed to go through it with your partner and there's little prompts for you to do yourself and then the both of you to come back together and share. So this one is talking about establishing healthy boundaries. And in fact, I was going to make a video on a psych chat video on healthy boundaries in adulthood. So maybe I'll have to take a look at this again and reference that. So yeah, if you and your partner are looking to strengthen your relationship or perhaps you um, are a little rocky right now or you've broken up and gotten back together and want to try again, this is a really good way to sort of bond and reflect and you learn a lot about each other. So what the way we would do it was just in the evenings we would, um, you know, not every evening, but like if we were in the right head space and it wasn't too late, we would sit here and go th in bed and read through it and sort of share and do the prompts and it was really nice. Recommend this for sure. Last we have this journal that I never even used yet that I got for, like, as a gift from my lovely friend and I haven't done it yet but you know what this is all about me time and I think that this would be really wonderful um, post baby when things settle down um, it's a really good way for me to monitor my self care okay so there we have it this is dusty um so that now it's cleared and what I was going to do, what I was going to do was, um, I'm going to take this away and actually bring in a salt lamp for the dimmer lighting and I'll just use that as my light and then I'll have a little container here with diapers and stuff like that. So now that it's all cleaned off, I am going to eventually put one of these here. I'm not sure. This one's a little bit big. This I got from um, Bed Bath & Beyond because it's supposed to stack with other ones, but I use those for our medicine cabinet in the kitchen. So I'm either going to do something like that and I'll just have, you know, diapers and wipes or something smaller. Let's see. Something smaller like this. This is from Ikea. Um, and I'll just have diapers in there. And then um, I need to move the salt lamp in here. And yeah. So it's not that big of a space. And I thought about bringing in like I have this sort of cart thing. But that the room is so small. You guys have seen it on my room tour video that it just having another piece in here would be so tight. And that combined with having also the bassinet in here, I mean, it's going to be a really tight fit. So we'll see. But um, for now, I'm going to leave this and then I'm going to put just a couple of things back. Um, Yeah, I'm going to keep just a, put a couple of things. I'll just put it in here for now. Just like that. These are things that I, you know, continue to, um, to use, so.
definitely my Kleenex. Okay, so I will keep this stuff here and I'm going to move that eventually and bring in that um, salt lamp that I, I have a whole bunch. Oh no, I have like five salt Himalayan salt things. Two of them are lamps. One I just got from a friend that I'm going to move in here. And then the other ones are like um, for tea lights and stuff. But I don't, yeah, I have so many, but they're all in the living room, which I will do a home tour. I swear I will. I also will show you the nursery when it is finished, that it's been such a work in progress. Even though it's this like tiny little space, it's just, um, really we only have time on the weekends so it's been you know slow going and we've had to build a lot of things like put pieces together so okay so that is it we're gonna leave it at that for now thank you for joining me if you're still here this was sort of a long-winded little rant and ramble and show and tell um, thank you again to those of you who have sent things in, and I will see you soon, hopefully in a role play. I, I've got my things I need to do, so for those role plays. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.